So here, with, uh, with, with, without using the arms, you see against your chest here, if you turn the body, already have this motion here. If you have good shoulder turn, you see, when you have good shoulder turn, you have a fairly large range of motion already. All you do is flex the elbow at the end from here, and then lift the, the tray, lift the tray. Okay. All you need is to hold this position here. So this is the swing plane. Swing, swing by turning the body here. Swing, swing, and then let it go and flip it. Mm, just still the head is high. It's a crossover, crossover. Here still is a bit the crossover here. You have to you have to you have to move the club head more and then keep it uh, a bit lower, close to the swing. Yeah, that line is good. That's good. Yeah. So it's not about the position at the end. That's uh, the line you are following. The following here. Yeah, but I gotta get my wrist to a certain position in order to get there. You know, I have let it happen. Because again, this is, you are brainwashed with all the position-based instructions here. Okay. So you want to go to a certain position, but what you have to pay attention to is how you are moving the club head here. Okay. You need to move the club head this way here. Then you will assume the body position that make, makes it happen, right? So continue this motion and go to this position here. This is, this is your target motion of the club head here. Then your, your body has to move along this motion towards this position. But you all always go to certain position here, certain body position, not about the curved motion. You have to maintain, maintain the curved motion here. Mm -hmm. Image this, the curved goes around and then ends up somewhere here. Mm -hmm. You have to promote that motion by adjusting the body motion. Pay, pay attention to, yeah, pay attention to so here, at the top here, from here you have this control, but uh, from this point on you just lose it because you want to go to a certain body posture here. Maintain this motion all the way here. The goal is to move the club head around all the way. Yes, yes, that's better. Uh, again, as you repeat, you are going into this position. The first first one was good. <laughs> okay. So again, image. In your image, all you need to uh, draw here in your image is the overall path of the club head, right. all the way here, swing, and then all the way here. This is your your motion, right? And then from here, when you move the club here. Follow that path and make sure the end of the club moves along that plane and then finish this position. Instead of start this motion so that you, go, you want to go to a certain body posture. Instead, continue this motion all the way here. Make sure you bring the club to this position. Then you have to adjust your body motion. Instead of start, starting here, and then you want to go to a certain body posture without paying attention to this motion. So your goal is to move the, the club head along certain path all the way. Yes, that's, that's better. That's a lot simpler. Yes. You see, that's a lot simpler now. That's it. So that's why, that's why you need to understand the task here. Your task is to move the end of the stick along this path all the way to this position here. So it's, it's more like just Turn your body and whatever happens, you're going to let them go. Yeah. yeah, let this go along this path, intended path. Then your body part will be determined by the end of position here. But always what's happening is, initially you move here, but then always you want to go to set the body part here without paying attention to it. So I noticed that you have the, the, the chair from the past to that this doesn't happen or you have to keep 
pay attention to this and then right. maintain this motion all the way. If you secure this motion, your body motion changes. Your body motion changes. But I understand that, but uh, in your example, you're going fast now. You expect to see that in that <laughs> Make a bigger backswing here. Then you have a longer runway. So, again, your goal is by turning the body, then make sure you have good end of the club motion. To promote this motion or to secure this motion, you are moving your body. Instead of your, your body moves the way you want, you don't care what happens to this thing. So again, when you pay attention to this motion, suddenly... Yeah, I, I feel like it's more of the body. The body is swinging the club. So again, image the, the club head pad, move the end of the club along that pad all the way. So you play the slide outward, so now let's make it a bit inward. You have to keep the club head lower on this side. Yes, yes. Is the back swing large enough? Swing. So, okay, now. <coughs> So if you image the plane here, you want to stick to. As long as you have the image of a swing plane here, no matter what you do, you can move the end of the stick along that plane here. So okay, this, if this is my plane here, then mm, mm, yeah. mm, mm. all I do is just to move this around along that plane here. And then let your body adjust and then make that happen instead of moving the body the way you want, okay? So again, if this is the plane, visualize the plane here, then <coughs> So make sure you move the end of the stick along there. So initially swing this back and forth several times, visualize the plane, and then go to stage three, ooh, ooh, let it go. And then, when you make, make when you make a motion fast enough, mm -hmm. using the momentum, let go all the way. Okay. When you when you lose the balance, always there are two reasons. One, one, your gauge moves, or the motion is too much upper body time. When you have low body first and then throw, you have good stable finish. But if the upper body is dominant, swing and the low body follows after that. That's why you lose. Keep this side low. When you, when you do this swing, keep this side low. Yes. Yes, look at this, look at this. So in the down swing, if you want to keep the head a bit flatter here. So your goal is to move this flatter. Then if you bring this down still, you cannot do this. You have to start that way, that goal. But this, this is probably ingrained in your, your you know, mm -hmm. yeah, in here. But the, always you try to bring this down first. Well, if you're up high, I'm assuming if you want to make it flatter, you gotta... Yeah, but still, still from your head to position here, and then if your end goal is to move the head this way here, if you connect it, then there's a one solution here. Swing around instead of... Uh -huh. This pulling does not give you that motion. So if this is the impact point, this is the motion after the impact here. And then this is where you start. Then you have to connect all these, right? And in one simple motion, let go all the way through. Instead of start this motion with the pulling down first. If you put the button, the first button wrong place, everything will be pushed. It goes wrong. So again, this is the 
initial position. This is the target path here. Then you have to move along that plane instead of cooling down. It's always a matter of imaging the motion you want to generate and then make sure you follow that. Yeah, you have to keep this side a lot flatter. Here. Yes, yes. And then, and then another enemy of this clean motion is this. So if you want to go this way here, okay? But if your hand stays close to the swing plane, your club head is more away from the swing plane, you cannot come down this way. So from the beginning, in the back swing, you have to keep the club head along this way here, so keep it reasonably close to the swing plane. Okay? Keep the club parallel to the swing plane here. Only when you have this position, it's easy to turn around here. But if you start from this position, you have to do something here. It makes it complicated. But you keep going to this crossover position in the back swing. Your hands are too low. Bring the hands higher, and then bring this down here by using this motion. So you have to basically plan everything. The big picture here, yeah, yeah. If, as long as you keep the club this way, then simply bring this down all the way unless you can swing through, right? Mm -hmm. Here. But if here your hand stays a bit lower, the club is high here. Mm -hmm. If you just turn, try to turn around, it goes this way. Mm -hmm. You cannot do this. Mm -hmm. That's why you're pulling this down here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have to go more this position. Hands are higher, the curve head should be a bit lower than you think. From here, you come down, nothing will obstruct. So at the top, have the image with this here. Keep, it, keep this a bit lower here, while keeping the hands higher. Drop this a little bit, not too much. Okay? You have to drop the club head a lot more than you do. Bring the hands higher here. So you're going more going to this position here. Then coming down is no problem here. But if you're going to this position here, it's hard. You have to bring this down. Bring the hands a bit higher, drop the club head. Yes, 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 that way. Yeah, naturally then, naturally it will limit the elbow motion. Yes, yes. So continue swing and they keep. So almost in your image, you are dropping the club behind your back instead of keeping high here. Okay? Yes, yes. Yeah, that's the line. That's the line. Now it's simple. Now it's simple. Turning this way. Yes. Yeah. So when the club head is at right position, no need to do anything in the downswing, just bring it down, turn around, that you have your intent to play here. But because the club head is always staying more away from the swing plane, because that initial position, this happens, you have to pull it down. Mm -hmm. Because in order to influence the swing, you know, the stick motion here, you cannot swing like this. You cannot swing like this, you have to always bring this way. But if this is away from here, you have to pull it down this way, right? Unless you're going this way, unless you have this looping motion here. Right. If you go here, the head is high here. If you pull it down along the shaft, then it will be stiff here. But if you keep the head lower here, yeah, it's sure yeah, you have this motion. Here. Right. And then it becomes quite stiff here. Right. So bring the club head from the beginning, along this pad and keep it here. So it will be behind your back here. Go in this position, on the way down you don't have to worry anything. Because you're just turning around. So at the, back, at the top, you're keeping the club more this way, mm -hmm. behind your back. Okay? If you keep it this way, then simply turn the body, right. then uh, you'll be able to right. turn this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So relax the wrist and then let the stick move. 
Yeah, this time. Uh, this head came down. Yeah, from there, from there, your hand has to go this way here. Right. Instead of this way. Come this way and then let it go. Mm -hmm. Now both hands, both hands go to top, both hands go to top here. Almost uh, if you continue this and then let, let it hit your shoulder like this, mm -hmm. about this line here. If you go in here, then it simply come down around, right? So that's uh, really important to, uh, here, here, go, go, go to the top, go to the top. Your hand is turning this way too much. Instead, turn this way, right hand. Right hand stays this way here, okay? The thin thumb is uh, pointing for the target with a 90 degree turn here. But your hand is always going this way here. Your hand is going this way. Mm -hmm. That's why it's lifted here. Mm -hmm. Instead here. So try to keep this uh, more upright. Just uh, use the, this one and then keep it this way here. Then it's a simple coming down. But if it goes, if it, your mm -hmm. hand turns this way here, then you go cross over. Right. Again. Like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So drop the clip head behind your body okay. in the back swing. Now, continue swing. Your goal is to, to throw the, yeah, from there, throw the head uh, again. Keep, keep, keep the hands a bit higher in the back swing. Keep the hands a bit higher. <coughs> yes, yes. And then, good <coughs> pronation this way. <coughs> yeah. Still your hands, what, what I saw is that still your hands are coming down here and then going this way and then later you try to do this uh, pronation motion here. Instead, from here, the hand goes more away from your body in your case come this way and then turn, let it go this way. Instead of go all the way here and then try to do this late. So just the easy motion of both ways. Mm -hmm. Supination, pronation here. Mm -hmm. Supination, pronation. It should be more symmetric. Okay. Now, let's go to uh, the club. Now the clip is heavier, mm -hmm. particularly heavier. it's heavier so you can use the momentum of the clip. Wow. During the back swing, when you have a fast motion, using the momentum, let go all the way. But always do not go too flat. If your hands go too flat, then it's likely that, that you lifted the clip at here. Rather, bring the hands higher. If you bring the hands higher here, then it's hard to Keep the clavier here. You have to drop the clavier here. So bring the hands high. Yeah. And then do not turn backward too much because your goal is to swing it toward the, the target here. Still, the swing plane is outward. Your, your stance is closed. That's a part of the reason why you are turning backward too much. So throw the clever this way. Yeah. That's the pen. Yes, yes. Swing through. Ah, this time. Always when the clever goes this way, then down swing, you cannot bring the clever this way. Make sure you bring the hands higher. Ah, this is too low, too low, too low. Really? You're, wow. you're, you're turning, turning too much. Try to move the hands more laterally here. Again, go here. Laterally, hands laterally, and then bring it here. Okay? Your hands do not go back here. Mm -hmm. But here. Try to keep it more laterally. Bring the hands in the back swing more laterally. And from there, turn this way more in the, in the down swing. Your stance is already closed. Yeah. Yeah, from there, turn this way by letting the hands go more out. 
if you just turn around from there, from here, if you just turn around the spine axis, then mm -hmm. your hands will go this way instead of going this way. Mm -hmm. Turn around this way. Mm -hmm. So you have to keep the hands a bit higher in the back swing. And then just to try to turn around using the body instead of pulling the arm. Just to turn around, turn around. Now no, continuous motion. Continuous swing back and forth. Swing continuously, but keep it flatter. Keep it flatter. Keep, keep the plane flatter. Use the back swing more, act, active back swing, more active back swing. So the thing is, uh, here, here. The reason why you are not using the body that were in the down swing is because your back swing is not fast enough. So you are not, you fail to prepare for, prepare your muscles here. Only when you have fast motion, then just reverse the direction and let it go. Turn around, reverse it and let it go. But this is slow, then you use the arms because the body muscles are not ready. So have the image of using these big muscles here and then turn the whole upper body as one unit. Okay? You're using these muscles and you're turning the whole upper body around here instead of using the arms predominantly. Turn around. Here, here, have the image of when you swing both ways in the back swing, throw the club this way in the back swing. Throw the club this way instead of just lift here. Throw the club and then also on the way down, mm -hmm. you are throwing the club head this way here instead of pulling it down. Mm -hmm. Instead of pulling, try to throw all the way. Throw outward both ways. Throw outward both ways. Ah, you're stopping here, you're stopping here. The back swing is not fast enough. And then you're, ooh, you're fighting, you're fighting. You're not letting it go all the way here. If you just let it go all the way, then it'll be here. But you're using right arm and try to fight and stop it here. Then the body is not ready for the way that you have to use the arms only. Pull it down. So go here. Turn enough, turn enough, and let the club head go enough. Do not fight. Particularly, your, your club head is fairly heavy here. Using the momentum of the club head, let it go around the body. Swing through, let it go around the body. And then start here. When you have enough body turn, you can use these large muscles and then swing through. But because you are not turning the body enough and the arm is here, you start using the arms. Make sure you have enough turn here. Enough shoulder turning instead of just turning a lot. Improve shoulder turn using the momentum. Let go all the way. Ah, your shoulders are not turning much. Here, your shoulders are not turning much. The shoulder has to turn enough. This motion is coming from the shoulder turn, shoulder turn, shoulder turn. Shoulder turn here. Okay. So again, hold, hold both hands. Mm -hmm. So let the head go. Let the head go. Swing through, swing through by turning the shoulders. All the way, all the way. In the down swing, swing all the way. Swing through all the way here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, so what you really need to practice is instead of using the arms, try to swing the arms, swing the club with the arms, you have to let the body turn, shoulder turn, and then swing through, swing through, swing through, swing through. This way you are using the entire range of motion. 
Yeah, but this is only a small dark spot, right? But this is to show, uh, you know, how yeah, far yeah, you can go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So once I get the, the where, where, and how I, am, I think I can see it faster. So, so in your image, you're always lifting the arms here. That's why this happens. Turn around, turn the shoulders. You are turning the whole thing about the spine axis. So from here, from here, instead of lifting this up here, you're turning around, okay. turning around, and then bouncing. Also turning around instead of pulling it down. Have the image of turning around your spine axis, turning the body around. That's the way I feel when I turn around my spine. And then you want me to be like here. Yeah, lift the lift the. I turn around. If I continue that axis, it does this. Okay, let's, let's do that. Let's do that. But uh, keep keep things around. And then on the way down, also turn around, turn around, turn around. And you're starting. You're starting dancing with the arms here. Okay. Come on. Ah. No. From here, so you turn around here. Yeah. Turn around and then let the arms go here. Is that all? Already using the arm here. Okay. So you have to swing through this point here, right? Swing through this point. Then your swing is going swing through this point instead of whoop. Pulling up. So you see here. Go here and then swing through all the way in one action instead of mm -hmm. you're just pulling here, snapping, and then you're not swing through, swing through. Turn around, turn the shoulders around, turn the shoulder around with that. So image this. Image when you turn around here, when you turn around the body, then the arms. Oh, watch, watch, watch this, watch this. When you turn around, the arms will go around this right. way instead of right. Just well, turn, turn around, turn around. Let the arms fall. Yeah. <coughs> so. If you really turn around, if you turn around and the club goes around your body and then it has to be here. It cannot be lifted like this. It shouldn't be lifted here because it's just turning around and it has to go here, right? From starting here and then it has to end up here. Swing around here instead of you're using the arms. Turn around to all the way. And pay attention to the motion of the end of the and club, club head, motion of the club head around. Yeah. So you have to keep moving that way if you really turn around. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. Okay, so that's, to me, that's a much more amount of here. I'm here. You're continuously going. <coughs> Your club head is uh, lower. That's why everything is easier. Mm -hmm. uh, then, still, in the backswing, if you use your right arm, to tr right arm here, then you're limiting it. So instead, add the extra shoulder turn. Extra shoulder turn at the end instead of doing, using the arms here. So as you go in the back swing, uh, stay, 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 stay on the mat, stay on the mat. Mm -hmm. And then when you turn around, turn around, mm -hmm. at the end of the back swing, try to keep an extra shoulder turn. Yeah. Then the club head will automatically go more. So even if you have the same posture here, if the shoulder turns more, then it'll be here. Because the shoulder is not turning, and then you're using arms that is lifted here. So at the end, at the end of the action, try to keep a bit uh, more extra shoulder turning, and then let it go, let it continue moving in the same direction. Mm. 
Yes. So that extra shoulder turn will give you good wind, the shoulder wind, uh, and you are starting down with this unwinding. But if shoulder does not turn enough, then you are not preparing these muscles, you have to use arm muscles. So when you have enough shoulder turn, then these muscles are elongated enough. So you can easily. Mm -hmm. So keep, keep extra shoulder turn and then turn around. Swing around the axis instead of pulling the arms down. Okay, just turn around. Using the momentum, turn around, yes, again. Use a fast motion, fast motion in the backswing, and then let it go. Now the swing plane, your stance is getting more close, the close, the close, and your swing plane is going outward. You have to control that. So that way, you start, you start engaging your shoulders more. You are in, in your 70s. Yeah. <coughs> and then, try to use the arms only. That, that means that you have, uh, let's say, uh, four engines, but you're only using uh, two engines. Okay? And also, also, when you limit the back swing here, you have a short, shorter runway. 